Kim Kardashian just got herself into another drama, and this time it's with her own sister, Kourtney Kardashian, and her husband, Travis Barker. The entire drama started with Kim's jealousy over her sister, Kourtney's relationship with Travis Barker and the new baby they just got. We all know that Kim and Kourtney never have been on the best terms, but the recent drama got Kourtney to end her relationship with her own sister, and apparently she doesn't want anything to do with her anymore. It already started at the gender reveal party of Kourtney's new baby, and it just got worse now that the baby is here. Because apparently, Kim is not showing any interest in her own nephew. But what exactly happened? What did Kim do that Courtney wanted to end the relationship with her? And most importantly, is she really that jealous of Courtney's happiness and joy? This is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video, so make sure to stick around until the end, so you don't miss a single juicy detail. It all started with Courtney's and Travis' gender revealing party. Courtney and Travis have been extremely happy about the pregnancy, because Courtney didn't know if she'd be able to get another kid since she stopped all fertility treatments, and doctors told her that she'd have a hard time getting another kid. As you can imagine, it made her even happier when she got the news that she was pregnant and she wanted to celebrate her pregnancy as much as possible, as this is probably also her last one. Now looking at the gender reveal party, you could see that most of the family was incredibly happy for her, except for one person, which is her own sister, Kim. Looking at the footage, Kim looks like she would rather be anywhere else. And against Kim's nature, she didn't even mention anything about the party on social media. Usually, Kim is the type of person who shares her entire life on Instagram, but this time she didn't even upload a single story, which already shows Kim's attitude towards the entire situation. But it gets worse than that. As you know, Kim has been single for a while, and in the past few weeks she has been desperately looking for a new boyfriend. There have been countless of rumors about her relationship status, from the NBA player Lonnie Walker to the NFL legend Tom Brady. However, no one of them was really interested in Kim, and her mental state is getting worse and worse. She went this far to even trying to get her ex-husband Kanye West back, and she followed him and his new girlfriend to Japan and Italy. But this is a topic for another video, if you are interested in seeing this. Make sure to stick around until the end, and I'll link you a video that shows you exactly what I'm talking about. But this entire situation shows the desperation Kim is currently in, because she realized that after the divorce from Kanye, that there are not endless amounts of men waiting for her. And this desperation also explains the entire rumor. According to TSA, Kim was desperately seeking the attention of Travis at the gender reveal party. The rumor says that during the party, Kim heavily flirted with Travis, and there is one person who absolutely did not enjoy it, which is Courtney. She interrupted Kim's little flirting session, and things got extremely heated between them. According to the rumor, a source was lucky enough to see exactly what happened there. Courtney was furious. As I said, she interrupted them multiple times, and later at the party, it turned into a full blown argument between Courtney and Kim. The drama got so intense that Courtney decided to leave her own party early, right after they revealed the gender. The worst thing about this is that this isn't the first time that Kim tried to flirt with Travis. And according to some insiders, Kim already tried to get in flirty with him back in 2020, when Courtney just got in a serious relationship with Travis. And as hard as this sounds, this isn't even the worst thing Kim has done to Courtney in the recent past. When Courtney and Travis married, they had their wedding in Italy, a fact that Kim didn't like at all because she and Kanye got married in Italy and Kim believes that Courtney stole this idea from her. I don't know about you, but Kim is definitely not the first person who decides to get married in Italy, and it's actually quite a popular place for couples to get married. But Kim still believed that Courtney stole this idea from her, and at first she didn't even want to attend the wedding of her own sister. However, in the final ideas, she changed her mind and she came along with them to the wedding. As you can imagine, Courtney put a lot of effort into the wedding. She meticulously planned everything from the location, the decoration, and the dresses. Apparently, she spent weeks designing the dress code for the wedding and personally picked all the designs for it. This is something that will be important in just a minute, so keep that in mind. Now looking at the wedding, it again seemed like Kim would much rather be anywhere else. She was completely disinterested at what happened during the wedding and looking at the little speech she gave. It felt more than forced, but this isn't even the worst thing she has done. After the wedding, Kim had her collaboration with D&G and, and she was asked to do the designs for them and guess what she did? She took all of the designs Courtney made and sold them to them as her own, not mentioning Courtney with a single word. We can definitely see how jealous Kim was. And after Courtney got asked if she noticed that Kim copied her, she said, no. And that she would have been completely fine with Kim taking the looks if she had just asked her first and maybe fave her credit. But the fact that Kim simply said nothing and just took the designs is what upset Courtney. Now up until this point, 
Courtney has been very quiet about Kim constantly mocking her, but this is when it just came out of Courtney and that she is not fine with constantly getting bullied by Kim anymore. Therefore, she revealed that she believes that Kim wasn't even happy for her during the wedding, and this is what all fans thought so too. As we all know, Courtney has been the victim of Kim's bullying for years, and at one point, she just wasn't able to take it anymore. But instead of fighting with Kim all the time, she just decided to ignore her. And this worked pretty well for her. And in an interview, Courtney even said that she is going to prioritize her own happiness, mental health, and her kids over fame. However, Kim's recent escapades just made Courtney so mad that she just couldn't ignore it anymore. First, she wasn't happy for her wedding with Travis. Then she didn't care about her pregnancy and now she doesn't even care for her new nephew. Fans are also extremely shocked at how less Kim cares about her own sister, and they started to theorize that she is doing this just to get a little bit of attention from her sister and the media. Their theory was that Kim didn't get any attention from Courtney with the standard bullying she is doing over and over again, so therefore she had to do something worse. As an example, they have taken a look at the recent Photoshop incident, where Courtney and Kim made a picture together. When she edited it, Kim made herself seem a lot younger than she actually was while she didn't change anything at Courtney's face, in the hope that it would upset her. But instead of being upset, Courtney just said that she is fine being her age, which just shows that she simply doesn't care about the opinion of Kim anymore and what she does. Because Kim didn't get any attention, she decided to do worse and worse things, and this is why we ended up at this point where Kim started hating on her pregnancy and even tried to flirt with Courtney's husband. At the same time, fans are convinced that Kim is somehow trying to stay relevant in the media and therefore wants to get attention at all costs. The popular magazine TSA claims that she is actually in a midlife crisis, which would definitely explain all of her desperate actions. I mean, she is even running after her ex-husband after she wanted to divorce from him, so these are clear signs. Now everyone was wondering how Courtney would react to Kim's disrespectful actions this time. And at first, Courtney was extremely upset and mad at Kim for trying to make her angry just to get a bit of attention from her. But later on, she kinda ended the relationship with her. Apparently, Courtney has lost all hope of any change in Kim's behavior, and therefore she will just try to move on and have just the bare minimum of contact with Kim. She also said that she is going to appear way less in the new episodes of The Kardashians because she wants to focus on her kids and her husband. As you can imagine, fans were sure that the real reason why she wants to stop being that much on the show is because she wants to limit contact to Kim. Personally, I believe that Courtney's way of dealing with the entire situation is extremely mature, and she knows exactly that she won't be able to change Kim, and that her behavior will just get worse and worse. Therefore, she moved on. But I'm interested in hearing your opinion on this entire situation. Do you think Kim will find another way to upset Courtney so she gets her attention again? Or do you think Courtney has finally moved on and now only wants to live in peace from Kim? Let me know down in the comments. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel if you never want to miss another celebrity drama. With that being said, thanks for watching and until next time.